Acknowledgement from the community is much appreciated, but it's important to keep the team focused. All the uh, the honors, the awards, the accolades, uh, pats on the back, they're great, but my responsibility is to my team uh, and, and, and my coaches. We don't look at ourselves as the underdog. You know, we may be smaller, uh, not as fast, but I think we always look at ourselves with confidence and make sure that we know what we're doing, stick to the game plan, and we know that if we stick to the game plan, everything will play itself out. For NBC 23, I'm Jeremiah Marshall. Jeremiah, thank you and congratulations to them. Well, Booster Club officials say their biggest challenge is getting players' parents' tickets for Friday's game. That's because both visitors and home sides are sold out. And in anticipation of the big matchup Friday, BIZ is allowing for early dismissal. The district says middle schools will let out at 1145, following by elementary schools at 1215 and early college high schools at 1. The early dismissals apply to faculty and staff as well. Employees at district administration buildings will be released at 1 p.m. Well, we've told you how Santa is in town early for all of our local Valley holiday events, and the fun is definitely continuing. Danielle's here with information on one way that we can dash on over to see him. I like that, Adam. <laughs> now picture your closet. Do you happen to have a red suit, black boots, and a hat, and maybe a white beard? So you're asking me for the Santa <laughs> costume. I am, so you can dash over. <laughs> all right, I'll get it for you. <laughs> oh, for and if me. I get it for you, you're going to wear it, right? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> you know what, Adam? It doesn't matter what you say. I'm still excited about this. It's going to be an engaging time for everybody. I mean, we are talking about various race portions to the event and you can walk it or you can run it. I'll be walking <laughs> however you feel comfortable is fine. Plus, it's a great way to get in some good exercise. It's going to be a great time for everyone. It's all happening in downtown Westlaco this Saturday from 5 to 6 in the evening. It's an all welcome deal, so you can definitely join in on the fun because attendees are going to be dressed up in Santa Claus costumes. Adam's pointing to me. Hey, all right then <laughs> for this event as well as for some fun photos after the fact. There will be live musical entertainment, one of my favorites, just to help us all get into the magical spirit of the season, and various vendor booths set up by local artists, chefs, and creatives. They're going to be on site as well, so it's a perfect opportunity to shop and support local while you're out there running or walking. And get this, even if you don't go in person, you can actually choose to participate virtually. As long as you have a mobile or a smart device, you can log in your miles via phone or tablet, go out there, see all the Santas. It's pretty cool. Like I said, he's making way from the North Pole to the Valley. It's an event that the entire family can take part in. Look, he's already on his way. You can see him right there. <laughs> there's going to be tons of Santas on the path. There you go to make sure. Keep an eye out for the official Santa Claus, though. There's only one out there. Rumor has it he's definitely going to be there. It's all happening again this Saturday in the downtown Westlake area. It should be a blast for sure. It's a great way to get into the countdown to Christmas spirit. Jessica has been helping us out with that. This is a continuation, so be sure to visit business.westlaco.com for all the registration and the path details, and we hope to see you out there. So fun. You guys, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to sit in the sidelines with Mrs. Claus and watch all the Santas. Eat some cookies and milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah that sounds a little more my alley. Same. <laughs> Same. Hey, did you go to the North Pole to get that video of Santa? You know what? Radio? I'm so proud of that video. Yes, I did, and it was a really <laughs> long journey, but but I made it back in time yeah, for the well, show. Glad you made it back for that. Thank you. Oh my yeah. I'm glad you appreciate yeah, that. This sounds like a great time, a Santa dash. Yes, yeah. literally dash, dash. <laughs> through <Yes>. the snow. <laughs> through that I knew valley. she was about to start singing that song. <laughs> oh, oh, anyway, gosh. how do you guys feel about this? You ready? I, I feel it's fun. great. I'm not ready. <laughs> but you said walk. She said we could walk as you well. Can walk. Yes, as okay. long as we get moving. Oh yeah. We've heard that this morning for yeah. our seniors, <laughs> even for us. Yeah, I know. Right? It's, it's great. So yeah, yeah, even if you're not a runner, or you can just go enjoy, watch your friends run. I know I have a couple of friends that do a lot of the races uh, around the valley and go to a lot of these events. Yeah. I love the events in downtown Westlake too. I'm sure you guys have attended a yeah. handful. Yeah. Oh, I, I love mm -hmm. the downtown area, and I haven't been to any Christmas events, so this sounds like a good one to hit up. All right, yeah, Jessica's okay. gonna go yeah. dash. You can yeah. even <laughs> dash to the dance floor. There's live bands. Nice. So Very cool. You can oh dash goodness. anywhere on site. All right. Well, that's we great. can challenge anybody that went to the turkey trot. They got to go to this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. true. Right? Ooh, that's true. I like it. Challenging y'all. All right. You heard Adam. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for the info. Sounds like a great time. <laughs> Always. <laughs> All right. Well, keeping seniors active, that's the goal of a new program out of Edinburgh. Up next, our Natasha Thingdave has the details on the initiative keeping senior citizens moving.